on guys? Hope everybody's having a good day today. Uh, today we're just out uh, doing a little bit of shed hunting. The weather's really nice today. It's 40 some degrees. It's, uh, it's melting the snow. Figured it was a good time to check out a couple quick hot spots for some sheds. The first thing I wanted to do today is give you guys a little bit of an update on the Duramax. So last time when we talked, um, I'll put the video link here, I had talked about a possible leaky injector on the Duramax and and getting that fixed. Well, good news is it was what I thought it was, uh, just the, the washer and the O-ring on the injector needed to be replaced. So uh, the injector was pulled out and those two things were put in and it runs perfectly now. Sounds good, smooth, uh, idles really quiet, so, so I'm glad I got that fixed and uh, now I can be mobile again. So. Here we are today, let's uh, look around a little bit and see what, what we can find. We'll just check, like I said, a couple quick hot spots. I'm not going to do a bunch of shed hunting, there's still quite a bit of snow. And uh, and I think some of the deer are still, still holding their antlers. So we'll check out a few spots and see if we find something. Here we go. on today are a couple of the spots where I've had pretty good luck in the past um, and just some of the easier spots to check one of these is some of these trees like this apple some of these apple trees I don't know if this one's an apple but uh, it just gets seems like the deer really congregate underneath them and stuff and uh, you'll see a lot of deer sign but I found pretty good amount of shed antlers under these and then also, I'm just going to focus on some south-facing slopes where they like to bed, and when the sun is warm in the winter time, they'll they'll lay on those. Um, I found pretty good amount of antlers on them as well, so we'll uh, check some of these spots out. The other thing I'm going to focus on today is are the main runways and trails that I can see that are real visible. Um, just trying to get the best bang for the buck here and not cover everything, but just some of the better spots. Wow, looks like maybe we have an abundance of rabbits or something. I've never seen anything like this. I've seen one or two chewed up before, but this is crazy. Just a ton of this little sumac is completely stripped of bark. And I'm assuming it's a rabbit. It looks like about as high as a rabbit could reach. Crazy. This is one of the spots where I found some really nice antlers before. It just seems like it must be one of the warmer places with the sun access and um, close vicinity to food. There's a picked cornfield here and then there's some thick cover and um, it just seems like for whatever reason it's a good spot to find some sheds. I don't think I've seen anything today. Either I'm a little early, kind of jumped the gun on this a little bit, there's still a ton of snow or maybe there just aren't any right around here. but. I have had pretty good success in the past, so I'll keep it in mind and, and come back again, I think, once the snow melts off more in another couple weeks. I have seen a lot of good activity, deer activity though, um, or I should say a lot of good deer sign. Looks like a ton of tracks and, and droppings and things, so that looks good. This isn't a bad looking rub here. Just noticed this, there's a bunch of beds right behind me um, that they use and then there's a food plot just down the, down the hill here so it seems like there's quite a bit of activity but just noticed this rub, it's a pretty good looking rub. It's been a halfway decent buck. We're gonna keep working down this way. Here's another good looking rub. I see uh, there are quite a few right here. They, they like these little aspen trees. But yeah, quite a few rubs. Holy smokes. This is usually a pretty good rub hot spot. 
and it's not disappointing now. Well, this is not what I like to see here. I don't know. You see, it's a deer leg. And uh, I'm gonna have to look around here, find out where the rest of the deer is. It seems like in the spring, the last couple years, I find one or two dead ones, um, assuming coyotes are getting them. There are a decent amount down here, which is one of the other things I like to do, is try to get rid of those guys. But yeah, there must be a, whole dead deer around here somewhere. I'm gonna have to look around and see if I can find out where it is. Hmm, that's not good. I'm not sure where the rest of that deer is. I don't know, I looked around in a whole bunch of spots here, but I don't really see it, so. I'm guessing once the snow drops, I'll be able to find it pretty easy. I mean, it could have been that they drug it in from a long ways away too, I guess. It was just a small piece, but I'll keep looking, see if we can find it. Well, that was pretty crazy. A huge red-tailed hawk, I think. Came in wide open here, and um, last second just swooped straight down and hit the ground. Hit a huge thump, and I assume it was after a rabbit. Well then, after a minute, I saw the rabbit go running, or a rabbit go running by, and then I saw the hawk take off. Crazy. But you can see, here's another example of this rabbit uh, action that's been going on here on the sumac. Tons of chewed up stuff, debarked. Must be a ton of rabbits this year. Well, that was kind of a bust as far as shed hunting goes, but we did have a couple cool things. I did get to see that hawk attack the rabbit, which was super cool. and. Uh, and also uh, found a random deer leg, which wasn't really so cool, but kind of a surprise. Never did find out who that deer leg belongs to, but I'll have to go back in there once the snow disappears and check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys did, I'd really appreciate a like. Hit the like button below. Also, if you guys are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Uh, hope everybody's having a great day. Take care. See you again soon.